This is the fly we're going to be working on today, and this is a tube fly, and this one is a bluegill version of the tube fly. And we've got a couple of different materials. We got bucktail, we've got flash, we've got synthetic materials, ostrich hurl. But the basic way a tube fly works is there's a rubber section in the back, and you got the tube that you tie the fly on. And what happens is you thread the leader through and the hook is going to shove into this and just kind of stay there. And the idea behind a tube fly is that the fly doesn't get wrecked. So this is a tube fly tied for pike and pickerel. And what happens when you hook the fish, the fly kind of slides up the leader so the fish doesn't mangle it. So for really toothy stuff. This is something new that I'm experimenting with and they're really neat flies and the way you build them. So here's how we tie it. Okay, so in the vise we've got a tube fly adapter. So we're going to just go put our tube on. Just kind of jam it onto the back. We're using kind of a heavier thread. We're going to start with a 3.0 white. And what I'm going to do with it is I want to leave some of that tube sticking out behind the fly, probably about that much. So this is where the fly is going to start, right here. We're going to make 6-8 wraps, kind of ball that thread up there. So I got the thread on, and I'm going to hit it with some Zappa Gap, because I don't want that going anywhere. So that's going to glue that down. First thing that's going to go on is we're going to have a couple different colors of flash, and I'm going to mix and mingle these, about six, eight strands a piece. So I want to have a nice flashy fly. Now the bluegill fly isn't super long, so I'm going to cut this in about into thirds. And we'll get our last third. Got our first color of flash. Get that on there. Nice tight wraps. Get our second color. Do the same thing. I'm going to make it into about into thirds. Gonna even up the front so I don't have it hanging out too much towards the head of the fly. I'm just gonna let that kind of roll around. Get it in there. Nice tight wraps. And we got our mixed and mingled flash layer. And I'm going to clean the front of it up a little bit. So we'll go and shorten all that. Okay. So that's on. So 
So the next thing we're going to have is some bucktail. And since this is a bluegill, we're going to do a couple colors off of this blue bucktail. So for the back part, I want the darker bluish grayish color. So I'm going to get a pinch of that. Standard and so I untangle nine million tons of tinsel. Okay, so I got a comb and I'm going to take the bucktail like this and I'm going to comb out all that stuff in the bottom. I don't want to bulk up the, the fly too much. And I'm going to take my scissors, just kind of even up the ends. Okay, so that's going to be more of the back part. So I'm going to get that on there. Tight wraps. And this is heavy thread, so you can really bite down on it. And I'm going to take some bluish bucktail and run it on either side. So we're going to do the same idea with the comb. We'll get two batches of that in. And I don't even the tips up, I want them random. I don't want them all pretty. So we're gonna get that side. flip it over and we're going to put another bunch on the other side. starting to shape up here. So I gotta come in and I gotta trim all this and so to prevent my fly tying desk from being a total mess. I'm gonna pull this off of here, put this underneath and trim that all up kind of at an angle. And it takes a bit, but we got to get it all as neat as we can get it. I 
And that's looking pretty good. So we're going to take that whole assembly and just bind it all down tight. And this isn't going to be the head of the fly. That's all going to be covered up. So the next step is going to be adding a couple of really webby grizzly saddles. So here's our grizzly saddles. I'm going to take this out and put it back where it goes. So we'll clean those up. Okay. Get the first saddle in. good and we'll put our other saddle in and that's good for a start okay so for the next phase of this one We've got some ostrich hurls. Get a bunch of that. And we're going to tie that in along the back. off the excess and now we're going to start building up the head of the fly so the next piece we got fake fur so orange fake fur and bluegills have a lot of orange along their bellies so we're going to add that in next okay Nice chunk of that. And we're going to clean that part up. So this is actually going to go on this way. So this will be right about there. Good turns of that. And now we go to the material for the rest of the head. Some medium olive fake fur. And this we're going to need a few chunks. Get one in here. And 
And we'll turn the fly a little bit. Another one for the top. least one maybe one big chunk for there I'm going to take all of that, pull it back, and come up here, build the head of the fly. What you can do is once you got it pulled back, just take a hair clip, hold it all together and keep it back. This one you can't really use the whip finisher on, so what I do, pull out a bunch of thread, and kind of whip finish it by hand. So I'll bring that thread over and around. Do like three of those. them tight and we'll just take the hook part of the whip finisher pull this tight trim it I'm going to give it a good coat of super glue. Zap it up. We'll let that dry and we'll come back for the last stage. Okay, so now we got a bunch of gluing to do, so we're going to use a thin set UV cure and got a UV light so I usually do it side top side so here's our first side and I don't want to go in too deep just want to get some of the some of that thin 
UV cure on there. Let it penetrate a little bit. And I'll just kind of do that all the way around. So then I'm going to take the scissors and make sure I clean up any little threads or anything that's in the way. i got to make kind of a spot for the eyes. Back a little more with that. We'll just go around and make sure I got everything good with the light. You can also take like these little hairs that are showing when you clip those. Okay, last up's the eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a drop of super glue where that eye is gonna go. And carefully, so I don't super glue myself, take that eye. Get it on there. We're going to do the other one. And just going to give that time to dry and then I can fill it in with a little bit more UV cure and I'll show you what the final product looks like. So that's the final fly. I've taken and used a permanent marker and I made the back part a little darker. And through there, add a little bit more of the UV cure around the eyes and I mean you don't want to do too much because it looks starts looking like Frank and bluegill but that's it so the next last thing I would do is just take scissors and I would cut the tube off about there and just hit it with a cigarette lighter and what it does is it'll kind of round out the front part of the tube a little bit make it more durable and that's it. It's pretty neat. It looks pretty cool. I like it. So there's how you tie it. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, please send them in. I get back to everybody. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and uh, share the videos with your friends so we can get some more subscribers and continue to grow. Mm -hmm.